I know it's going to be a fun waiting today. <coughs> we managed to get another skunk. Thanks to Tommy Brown and his wonderful live trap. I already dispatched the skunk. So we'll put some gloves on. Take care of him. But there he is in the trap. We'll get him out in a little bit. Hey, Blind Straight, what's happening? Yeah, it is a cold day. <sighs> Got to whip through the birds real quick. Get them taken care of, and then I can come back and milk the skunk. Yes, guinea hens. Yes, yes. All guinea hens must go. All right, come on. Get off here. Come on, everybody down. I'm only giving you guys enough food to stay off me. That's all you're getting for right now. Sorry about flipping you guys around. Hey, what's happening, Tunis? A little bit of vitamin infused water for the birds. Hey, Blinken. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to make a food run there. Blind straight. Ain't no doubt about that. But. They've also got feed up in the deer feeder, too. That thing's full of food right there. That gets dulled out. All right, Verge. There's that. Keep telling you birds that it's not a toilet, but you don't listen. I need to fix that door too. Really bad. Then I gotta check that other skunk I have in the pile. If its hair isn't slipping, I'm gonna go skin that baby and I'm gonna make myself my skunk hat again. But it's all gonna depend on if it's slipping or not. Hopefully it's not. I didn't expect to uh, get a second skunk. That's actually the very last thing I expected. Yep, Jenny, got another one. As Soon as I get done with chores, I'm gonna go milk it.
All right, come on, get out of there. Come on. God, you guys are pests. Total pests. Why don't you let me get the ground birds fed first, huh? You get the cage birds fed. I'm way behind, babe. What? Yeah. Buckwheat? Yeah. Those are supposedly the males. Okay. If you don't mind, dear, I'm heading in. Because I am dripping sweat. I am freezing balls. And I'm having yeah. some massive issues here. Go on. Okay. I got... I got shit to clean up. The barn is done. Okay. I did everybody. Water, food, they're good. All right. I'll be up there as soon as I get done. <coughs> Come on, guys. Here. Go down there and eat. Come on, you're killing me. I'm lost amongst what I'm even doing. All right, guys. I can shit it up for at least a couple hours. All right, come on, goodies, go. Hello, quail. All right. You guys are good on water. Here, I'll give you guys a little extra. Man, I have to. I just have to. I've left this bailing twine holding it together for too long.
you guys a little extra food so you don't bother me. There you go. Okay, we add some water to your round bowl and we're gonna call you good. And we're gonna go off to milk the skunky. Oh shit. Yeah, chickens would be kind of pissed off with all, all their food, right? Oh, go. There's your other food. Put on our handy gloves. Oops. I'll try and take a look at chat. Because I won't be able to check chat or anything until I take these gloves back off. Because they're going to be filled with skunk gland stuff. You get a collection jar. And oh, that's the gland. All right, let's go milk the skunk. First thing, be sure the skunk is dead so you don't get sprayed. And I believe the skunk is dead. Yeah, skunk is very dead. a little male he's smelly too this is when three hands comes in really handy unfortunately I don't have it Go away, kitty, if you don't want to smell like skunk. There, skunky.
Oh, I'm sorry, you guys can't even see. That sucks. Oh, you can kind of see it right now. I don't really have the camera pointed in the right direction for you to see the glands. And maneuvering this thing by myself is a bit of a challenge. There's his little gland sprayer. Come on out. Okay, see if we can get it all nicely into one part of the jar to transfer it. Nope, I'm gonna have to bring the transfer jar out. It's not going to work. Damn it. But as you can see, we have quite a lot here. down as much of it as we can then we'll transfer it into the other jar back into the jar and then we'll refilter it later oh what a beautiful smell ain't nothing like the real thing baby All right, move, kitty. Come on, all you kitties gotta go. Put the collection jar back. Put our essence. As you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, I don't wanna touch it. There's a couple bottles of essence next to it. This glove, you can see, still has gland all over it. Not going to take it out. Not going to take it out off just yet. I'm going to go reset the trap first. This has all been made possible by Tommy Brown, who brought his trap to me after my trap 
my faithful trap took a dump and quit working. You can see it sitting right there. Broken, busted, unrepairable. And now we will get our, oh shit. Mess that one up. We're not using any bait. All we're doing is we have a little trail set going on in the garage here for the skunks that come and steal the cat food. And it seems to be working out very well. Something knocked over this trap and took all the food. It may have been that skunk. <clears throat> you may have been smart enough to defeat the egg trap. Here, little kitty. I need a little of your food, please. In case another skunk wants to come back. Now the big question is going to be, when I go in the house, is it going to set off Hag's asthma or not? Because if it does, I'm going to have to go get some clear ammonia and clean myself up. But. This is a pretty nice pelt. Too bad he's not fully prime. Oh, he's really piss stained too from before. All right, let's set him to the side. As you can see, one shot completely took his skull out. So he died without spraying which is important if you want to collect their glands. If they spray, you've wasted your time. All right, let's remove the stinky gloves. They're gone. Get rid of the water. Now I can check chat, I have hands free. Hey Ed, you're betting it's gonna set off her asthma? Uh, we're about to find out, Blinken. We're about to find out. <coughs> I better take the rain gauge in too, before the freezing weather comes and it freezes and breaks. I have done that stupid shit before. <sighs> Hello, Teresa. Good to see you. Sorry I missed all you people who came in. I'm going to collect the extender now, so I may drop. Let me go see if Hags can yell at me for stinking or not.
Am I stinking up the place, Hag? No, it's my cough. Okay. No, I, I can smell after you shot it. Like, about two minutes later, the stench came down towards the bottom. It wasn't really bad, but I could smell it. I knew. It didn't spray, so. No. It had full glands, and I wore gloves, so I don't think I got any on me. Oh, that one swelled even worse once I opened its gland. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, they must have been full. They were full. I got a lot out of it. Oh. Oh. There, that should take care of that. Let me get you people off my chest and holy cow, there's nine people in here on a Sunday. That's crazy. That's a lot of people. What are you live streaming? Yeah. Okay. You wanna cut? Come in. That's cool. Hey Jenny, knocking. As a matter of fact, Ed Teresa. Oh, you do stink. Alexander, Lincoln. Dude, you stink. Yeah, well. You smell like a skunk. Really bad, or? Um, no, no more than usual. <laughs> okay, because the only thing I Hello, can, peoples. Really, the only thing I can do is have you take my shoes out. Uh, you think I'm touching your shoes? No. Huh? I'm not touching your shoes. You can put on rubber gloves. What a waste of rubber gloves, just to take off a pair of shoes? I don't think so. You can wash your hands twice. You'll be fine. No, I'm talking about taking them outside. Oh. If they stink. No, no I think it's just you because you oh, were okay. that close to a fucking skunk. Oh, it okay. It just reeks. I'm fine with that, then. Yeah. No, it's a, no, this skunk didn't bother me nearly as much as the last one. No, I love the smell of them, so... Well, just because you it. don't mind the smell of skunks doesn't mean everybody enjoys it. I don't, really. I know, that's why. I've gotten used to it over the years. Anybody alive? Yeah. <laughs> what? No, they didn't. No, Larry just got one. That's Larry. <laughs> I just killed one. I could smell that thing. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi everyone. How is everyone? No, all of a sudden, you know, the dogs are running in and out. I they're not running in and out. They can't get in and out. That was me coming in the door. Man, I'll tell you, you're right as hell. Yeah, the dogs cannot get out. Well, about two seconds after the skunk went down, I could smell it all the way down to the barn because I was down feeding goats. So the smell travels pretty fast. I hope not. With everything you're getting, you should be just fine in a couple of days, just like me. Well, I keep telling you, but you don't listen. Stink's gonna get worse in a couple minutes. Here. What? Stink is gonna get worse in a couple minutes. I can't take anything. I will take this down. Cause I'm gonna take my shoes and pants outside and they stink. <laughs> All right, let's give you some elderberry cough syrup. And no, another dose of medicine. And we'll shake up the medicine real good. This is cold medicine, people. It is made with a bunch of very good organic items. 
and it really does work. My cough was tight just a couple days ago. It's breaking up really great. And I'm feeling a lot better already. So, that's just a matter of getting the right vitamins, getting the right medicine. <laughs> it's a little lip puckering because of the lemon juice, but boy does it work. So, we have two things right there. Alright. <coughs> Oh, no, I had to come upstairs before he did his skunk deal because I was, I had fed the goats, and of course that requires physical labor, which requires, you know, that you sweat while you're doing it, and we've got a cold wind blowing, so I got really, I got really cold, and I had to come in and change into dry Skunk killers, huh? <laughs> Look, it's like this, okay? We consider ourselves good stewards of the land, and that means that when you are overpopulated by one animal, it throws off the entire balance. You have to maintain a balance within an environment. Otherwise, well, you know, I explained it yesterday. I can explain it every once a day if everybody wants. doesn't matter. You can read about it online. <laughs> but yeah, you have to be good stewards. You have to maintain balance in the ecological cycle. And if you don't, things get off and illness comes in and Mother Nature is a far harsher um, skunk killer or any other animal killer than a human could ever be. What's she wants that? that too. I thought you were taking her shit. I am. All right, you, okay. you handle this. I'm going to handle her. I've got her medicine and all the eggs. Okay. So she should be just fine. Sweet. Right here. Okay. Now I'm going to Hey, CIA, no hand. Blinking. Anybody else that I've missed? Exactly, Jenny. Survival of the fittest. Hey, Dave, what's happening? So. Now I got to make sure that the hair on the other one isn't slipping. And if it's not, then I guess I'm going to be skinning the skunks. No, nobody got skunk, see how he a hole. I uh I got one in the live trap so I milked it. That's what was going on. We milked the skunk. You know, you take uh you take their gland spray, put it into a glass bottle, and then collect it into another bottle. And then you use it for trapping lure. Stuff like that. It's uh, it's always fun. Um, I don't know, CIA. I know that if you hand a jar of it. To QT, it will make him throw up. I know that. I don't think anyone would uh, would eat the cookies if I put uh, essence in there. And Hag would probably kill me for ruining the toaster oven.
but it is really good. Like if your neighbor pisses you off, you can put it, you can put it in a syringe and inject it through the weather stripping. They'll never want to drive their car ever again, CIA. Yeah, Blinken knows the taste of uh, of skunk. You don't even have to eat it. All you have to do is smell it and you can taste it. You lost 20 subs for some reason. Hey, what's happening, Eric? Or clear out the post office? Yeah, Jenny, if you buy trapping supplies, usually you don't clear out the post office. They usually have the feds waiting for you because they think it's weed and then they find out it's not. Eric says we all lost a shitload of subs after the YouTube crash the other day. Yeah, I never keep track of my subs, so... But hey, Jeremy, good to see you. Then the stream is usually pretty boring. I mean, you know, you see some goats run around, drop pellets, birds make a bunch of noise, crap everywhere. And uh, that's pretty much the, all of it except for the shag ceiling. Oh, I smell skunk all the way up the stairs, baby. You smell me now, babe? It ain't so bad down there. Oh, it doesn't bother me because it's not half as bad as that last skunk. Even, I think, <clears throat> for Blinken's first experience, that was a Lulu. There was nothing like that on the planet. I have never smelled a skunk that bad. Not ever. Hey, she did great. She made oh, it she did through. wonderfully. She made it all the way through the whole video. I, I gagged, and I don't usually. I know. It's not usually that bad, but that was a particularly wet, ripe one. She hung in there and videoed the whole thing. Exactly, chili cheese dog. People are the problem on the planet, not the animals. That's why we have to be good stewards now. Because we have, you know, we have changed the lay of the land. We have taken away their environments, you know. So we have to be careful of population control and all that. Otherwise, they die very slow deaths due to illness, genetic problems, um, you know, you name it. And I'm waiting to, so, this is like all sealed up. Yeah, and I can still smell no, it. No, you can't smell Fuck it. This I can't. is sealed up. This is going out <coughs> the post, as soon well, as the post office delivers all the shit they lost on me. Yeah, well, anyway. I have three things lost in the mail right now. The thing is, is that Mother Nature calls in a very cruel and slow way, whereas we have the capacity to do so quickly and painlessly and you know make it that much easier for the animals and keep the animal population healthy so you know what i mean skunk onions and bullion <laughs> blinken just said skunk onions and bullion <laughs> i gotta tell you yeah that the undertone of onion in that one was like and it wasn't even like rotten onion it was like it was like the hottest, most potent onion dipped in the worst skunk smell you've ever smelled in your life. That's what it reminded me of. It was just gross. But, I don't know. I didn't uh, find it too bad. Well, no, you never do because you like that smell. Blinken you. can now be the skunk smoking assistant? Definitely, Jenny. Well, one of you guys can have that job because I don't want it. It's not my thing. Oh, here, you want to pour a little water in the dog's dish? I noticed she's empty here. Yep. Thank you. No, I had to, I had to come in and dry up before I caught my dust. That's cool. 
I was just sweating so bad. Hey, no justice. And freezing in the cold wind, and I figured that was probably not a good combo. So. <clears throat> but anyway. Anybody else I missed? Oh, Alexander's here. Hey, Alexander. Hello to everyone. I'm sure I missed a bunch of people. Oh, I'm sure I did too. I don't catch everybody's name all the time, but I do wish you all well. well. I had the camera most of the time. <coughs> and then I couldn't touch it because I had the gloves on. The <laughs> yeah. It's the last thing you want is a stinky phone, right? Right. Especially since you take it to bed with you at night. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need skunk on my phone. Dude, I'll tell you what. I have put up with a lot of things on your pillowcases. That's one thing I will not put up with. I put up with melted chocolate ice cream, melted candy. Dude, I woke up one day and you had the pillowcase stuck to your face because you fell asleep with a fucking butterscotch in your mouth. Just all kinds of things. I'm just happy that you don't chew gum. What's happening in liver, no onion audits? Oh, gross, man. I have oh, liver is always better with onions or bacon. Man, I have two deer livers you're welcome to have, man. They're healthy. They're beautiful, actually. I'm a pussy. I won't eat livers. Well, you don't eat organ meat. Blinking, you never have. Blinking, laughing out loud, liver, no onion. <laughs> yes, knocking, I know. You still can if you if you can make it here. Well, Sweet. I, yeah, we can freeze those livers if you want, and you can have them. No, that's not what he's talking about. Oh. Talk about Nuck and painting his nails in zebra print. Oh, I believe. I just saw Unless Kim. I think Kim had hers painted funny the other day. It was kind of like a little zebra print. Eric doesn't like liver. See, a lot of people don't eat organ meat. Jenny wants liver with no onion. Yuck. I like calves liver with onion, but it's got to be like tender. It can't be, you know, overdone. Or... I won't eat any type of liver. Liver to me is like eating a filter on a car. I like chicken livers and hearts and gizzards. Hummingbird says, don't forget the toes. Eh, there ain't much meat on the toe. No, I was talking about painting. Oh. <laughs> painting the fingernails, don't forget the toenails. Maybe I'm just here for <laughs> Jeez, the, com the comedic effect. I don't know. You're lost. <laughs> Jenny yes, says, I, I like something. She likes brown wieners. <laughs> Braunschweiger. Yeah, brown wieners. <laughs> Liver sausage. I can't say that word, so I just make up my own. It's Braunschweiger, and it's basically just liver sausage. I love it, but it gives me gout. It's very rich. Hey, Lies, good to see you. Hey, hummingbird. It's like that boudin. That stuff is absolutely fucking delicious, but... Oh, Blinking it, likes brown wieners, too. Oh, it's delicious, but it's very high in fat, and it, it gives me gout. In other words, you know, it allows, and gout is basically what? Lactic acid building up in your in your, your joints, right? I have to make up words for ones I can't pronounce. Isn't that basically what, it, what gout is? It's lactic acid building up in your, it's from rich foods. Yeah, I don't think it's from lactic acid, though. It's, it's something some, it's that some, builds up in between your joints, I yes, believe. Yes, it is, and I'm not sure. It's some kind of fucking acid that builds up. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't remember what it is, but it builds up, like, especially around your, your feet. You get it in your feet. Here you, here's your answer right here. Eric says, your eight crystals build up in your joints. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, I don't know exactly what it is, but all I know is... Jenny grew up on the stuff. It's gout, a brown wiener. Gout hurts like like you broke your bones. It's very painful. Jenny Jones says it's an acquired taste. Dave says my dad liked that shit. Mm-hmm. It smelled funny to me as a kid. Yeah, I... We used to get it from the butcher all the time. My mom had it. We used to have liver I sausage sandwiches. She would kind of thin slice it for us, put it on mayonnaise with, you know, bread. We would have sandwiches. She made liver and onions like once a month. Yuck. Well, you know, that's just how I grew up. Jenny gets a craving for it about what? twice a year. What, liver? 
Liver contains a lot of iron. Either liver or brown wieners, one of the two. Well, which is basically liver. Okay. Um, but, yeah, it, it contains a lot of iron, and, and I, I think it's, it's either magnesium or manganese, and it's basically what most young women crave once a month, what they lose once a month. Yeah, I'm sub the pepperoni audits. Jenny says, white bread and mustard. See, I can't eat white bread. Not commercial. Well, back in the day, before they switched from iodine to bromine, I think my body could handle white bread a little better. But the way they make it now, it's damn near on the level of poison. Aaron with two cents. Now I know where it came from. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. Homie Birds Channel, please sub to her, okay? Road, you're obsessed with wieners. Is no, he though? No, I'm not, Jenny. I'm obsessed with shiitakes. In your case, same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, oh. should, he should be able to pop up uh, Pepperoni Audit's link on there. He's got a wrench. No Rocky Mountain oysters either, Dave. Oh, uh, I, I, I will not eat testicles. Chili Cheese Dog Audit says that Hag did an audit video for you. Sweet. You'll have to check it out, Hag. Cool. Yeah, I absolutely will not eat got the testicles of my animal. I got donated a penny with a warning to quit e-begging on YouTube. What? Eric says, I like Rocky punting. <laughs> They have Rocky Mountain oyster contests and festivals, like turkey nuts. Jenny, you just tried to pimp me out as a skunk milking assistant. Now who are you calling white bread? <laughs> <laughs> Eric says I like Rocky Mountain oysters. You can keep even you can keep regular oysters and those, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm. I'm not eating seafood anymore, and I'm not into it either. So I I just I can't. Not with everything that I've learned about the ocean and how polluted it is, not to mention the radiation working its way across the Pacific. The leaks that are still visible from the air in the Gulf of Mexico just doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence about what they're pulling out of there seafood-wise. Jenny Jones beat, beat chili cheese dog audits. Not to mention we're in a landlocked state. I think. So the only yep. way we get pepperoni audits channel. The only way we get seafood is if it's flash frozen and no thank you. Hey Ann, good to see ya. Cause you never know where that shit's coming from. There are some areas where they fish for shrimp around this world where the water is really bad and I'll just take a big pass. We don't eat seafood. Oh, M snuck in here? I didn't even see her. Hi, I don't M. even eat tuna anymore. Trust me, I'm not trying to ignore anybody. I'm just, like, mentally off. They know that. It's okay, my dear. Yeah, but it's a little worse today than normal. Well, did you take your mental pill? Uh, actually, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You took your iodine today. Took your colloidal gold. Uh, the only thing I haven't seen you take is... Oh, I didn't take my selenium. Yeah, you did. Did I? Yep. Okay. I made sure. The only thing I haven't seen you take... I've sworn off large sea food. I will not buy it. I will eat it served, but I won't buy it. That's the same thing. Nuckin says, I'm sore and I still have to clean out the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> my fridge can rot for a while as far as I'm concerned. Oh, There's my bad. My there, finger type M, in. not an A. Okay, got ya. I have to, uh, I have to take the freezer door off and weld the bottom freezer bracket because it broke. Yeah, the thing still works great. It's just the little thing rusted out. I don't like oysters. I'm allergic to shell food. Prawns taste nice, but can't eat them. 
Well, before Deepwater Horizon and before Katrina. You should try the teriyaki tuna, tuna bowls with rice at Wally World. No. Oh, that sounds horrible. No, anything from Wally World in the meat and seafood section is a big no-no. Take care, Eric. Eric's taking off. He's heading back to the ranch. All right. Have fun, man. Thanks for stopping by. Peace out. Yeah, we don't... Uh, I I did I did have oysters on a half cell in New Orleans, but that was many many moons ago, well before Deepwater Horizon. Hey AK, good to see ya. Well before, well before Katrina, well before a lot of things happened. And you can't beat five dollars for a baker's dozen when they're shucked right in front of you. They're absolutely delicious. Not anymore though. Yuck. It's like sucking down a big snot, but Yuck. it's they were actually pretty tasty with a little horseradish. Yuck. Oh, they're good. Yuck. Not eating it. Well, I'm not eating them any, anymore. But don't forget, at one point in time, our oceans weren't quite as nasty as they are now. I don't care. I'm still not eating it. Well, I'm not eating it anymore either. Ever since I made me eat that clam, I'm never eating anything like Those that again. Those were freshwater clams. Those are different. I don't you care. don't eat freshwater clams. I know that. You know that. I will and never do that again. I think there are certain ones you can eat, but you cer there are certain parts that you have to take out first. I don't care. I'm never I, eating I one. don't think you can just, you know, slide it out of the shell and eat it. Chili cheese dog says it's a box dinner, one minute microwave stuff. It's actually pretty good. Nasty. They also make chili flavor and Mediterranean. <coughs> no thanks. Twin mommy tells Eric to be safe. If I'm not real thrilled like with donate, the way microwaves that excite excite the molecules of food either. Yeah, we don't cook anything with microwave. No, I heat water with the microwave if I need a tea bag done, and I cheat when I when I make like oatmeal just because I'm lazy but other than that we don't usually use the microwave I don't use the microwave no. personally it's witchcraft I'm afraid of it well it's not witchcraft it's just not it's witchcraft I tell you it's witchcraft it's not witchcraft it's just I don't I don't believe that I don't believe it's as healthy as you know I believe it destroys nutrition and foods Mm, no oysters for me. I'll have the skunk onion bouillon scented air. Thank you. There you go. Dave says, I'll never turn down fish tacos. That depends where the fish comes from. Uh, I'm not real thrilled with I don't know, Dave. I would give you a Marie Weaver taco, and I don't think... <laughs> now, getting fresh salmon from Alaska and having it brought down, that's a whole nother ball ballgame. You know? Yeah, well, you can forget about that. Ain't nobody going to hook you up with fresh no, salmon. No, we've had it before. We had it once. I can't remember who sent it to us, but we did a trade or had it shipped to us once. And we yeah, had, that was years ago. That was years and years ago, and that was absolutely delicious. Yep. But, you know. Blinking, asking Dave if fish tacos are co is code. And AK Twin Mommy says, fresh uh, halibut tacos are the best. Mm. Chili Cheese Dog Otis says, tea bag. Yeah, halibut comes from the ocean, though. Yeah, different kind of tea bag, chili cheese. The kind you use for a drawing agent. Blind. Not unless I catch the fish. You know? I've never even heard of a fresh halibut tack. Well, halibut is fish. It's yeah, I know. It's not freshwater fish, so... I know. I'm yeah. just saying, I've never had it. And then you can Let forget about tackle. farmed fish because anything that's commercially farmed, there are issues with. Especially like us. Dave's had manta ray. That doesn't sound bad. I'm just not really trusting of our overall commercially pushed food source. You know, call me silly, but... It's happening good on you. I'm just going to call you too because your name's too long. <laughs> and Jenny's trolling me with the Wicked Witch again. See, that's why I have a nice chin on an imbecile, my dear. Don't tell anyone. Don't want the world to know. What, that you're not an imbecile? Well, you know that 
Could, one, one drop of iodine between genius and idiot. That's why I take so many drops. <laughs> no, you take so many drops because AK it helps Mommy your ADD. says, well, living in Alaska, I get fresh fish. There you go. That's the way to do it. See, now that wouldn't be bad. That that I would go for, but... That would have a lot of benefits, man. Especially yeah, Especially if you could moose hunt. Oh, man. You well, know how much meat you could put up from one moose or an elk? Yes. Oh, that'd be elk awesome. Elk sounds awesome. You wouldn't have to put up multiple deer like we do. Right. Yeah, but I tell you what, the deer we've been getting this year have been a little bit bigger than normal. Yeah, they're than good. we've been taking. They're good size. Yeah. I won't complain. No, I can't complain at all. The roasts off that one leg from the last one. Holy shit, those were big, beautiful roasts. And went fishing once, but I don't have the patience for it. Oh, I do. I love to I love to just sit in a little boat and fish or sit on shore and pan fish. And then run like a cat line at night. But here's the deal with moose, can't live off of it. Not enough not enough fat in the meat. Kinda yeah. like rabbit. Same thing with rabbit. Yep. But No, you have Chili to have a certain amount of good haddock. fat, you know? Definitely. Jenny's asking AK, do you get to go salmon fishing much? Jenny's a fish slayer. Well, an eel are supposed to be pretty good. I've I've, I've never had eel, but I hear that smoked eel is pretty good. Eel's okay. Hey, one whole summer I lived off of catfish, panfish, barbecued groundhog, and I like catfish and venison, and we did just fine. I mean, you know, we had vegetables, too. But, Dave says Alaska know. caught a lot of radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl in the 80s. Yeah. And then right now, you got Fukushima that was never really contained. And zebras here and shopping on eBay. Working its way across the Pacific, you know. So, I don't know. Is anywhere really safe anymore? Don't buy the wrong junk on eBay. Blind Straight says groundhog is good eating. Hell yeah. <laughs> it is. Barbecued whistle pig. Barbecued whistle pig. You betcha. Nothing is safe. Very true. Pretty much. But I mean, they're safe and then they're safe, you know. And our commercial food source, I believe, is fairly compromised. And says Australians... Have been living off kangaroo meat for thousands of years, and it's the leanest meat in the world. Yeah, but Australia also has a lot of fruits, too, I think. Fish killers. <laughs> Definitely need, like, you know, well, what's the cure for scurvy? Vitamin C. Yeah. So, citrus fruits. Food is probably the quickest way to get it, and the easiest. Jenny says, salmon fishing is so much more exciting, much more than just fishing for perch. See, I like fishing for bass and perch and, you know. Not strictly kangaroo meat, though, Ann. I think it's pretty cool to go out in a spring and, you know, find... I left it in New Orleans on accident because we bailed out early. Dave says they eat the tail only. Ann says most of our fruit is from foreign lands. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I was just looking at something the other day about how, you know, various fruits are grown. And because of where they're shipped, you know, they could be in another area of the world, packaged in an entirely different area, and then sent all over. So the footprint on something like that, it's just horrid, you know. You think you're, you think you're helping the country, the, the, you know, the planet, and you're really not. But then again, you know, unless I had a heated greenhouse, which I can't afford, I couldn't really grow my own lemons, or, you know. Unfortunately. Like, well, you know, they have like miniature lemon trees, miniature banana trees. You know, there are fruits that we could grow over winter. You know, we could overwinter them in a heated greenhouse. But 
Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, we live in Illinois. It's not like coconuts grow here. Oranges don't grow here. You know, a lot of things don't grow here. We're at the mercy of, um, you know, we're, we're just we're just trying to look for the better companies to buy those thing, kinds of things from cool, that don't have a large footprint and, you know, grow hey, organically Robert, good. chemicals. And, I mean, we cheat, you know. I love chocolate. You know, you can't keep me away from it. I'll stab a bitch for chocolate every once in a while, but... And says... You know. He created twin mommy, yes, kangaroo and its relatives before Europeans came. That's all there was. Grubs? Which of the grubs? Um, grubs are actually very high. Grubs and, like, mealworms and all that kind of shit. Yeah, a lot of Very high are... in, high in protein. Right. In Africa, in on the continent of Africa, they ate a lot of insects, but they do in South America too, in Central America, and and you know, coat them with seasonings, and they're actually pretty fucking good. The only thing I'm not going to eat is a possum. Well, nothing else eats a possum, so why would you eat it? That should tell you something. When crows don't even pick at possum. Yes, and if you notice, the Aborigines also used to control burns, not just to herd kangaroos so they could hunt. But also to keep the land fresh and, <laughs> and, you know, continually reproducing. And Blinken says, and I'm one of Hag's chocolate enablers. My, enablers, <laughs> my bad. Not. <laughs> one doubt there's always vaginas to eat. That's true, blind straight. Yeah, but how much nutrition do you actually get? Not a lot. And we all know that despite what everyone says, there is absolutely no protein in sperm. They're called with chitty grubs. Which, yeah, it looks like with chitty or witchity. I'm not sure. I have a bunch of pan of grubs that we dig up. Right. High in protein. Yeah, you just have to get that little poop thing out of their ass. Well, yeah, they're they pretty got... large though. You could split one open and. Oh yeah, you could you clean know. it up. Wouldn't be that big of a you deal. You take earthworms and you soak them in water, and you know. Yeah. All the dirt comes out, right. and then you can fry them up. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot dirt of taste. insects that you can eat that are extremely high in nutrition. There are a lot of plants that can be eaten that are high in nutrition. You know, but most a lot of some of the weed yards. You know, it, it's it's a European thing to grow a lawn in a us, garden that's some not of vegetable. Australia's trees need fire to burn through the seed husk. To regrow new trees. Right. Yeah, certain pine trees. Like, the top of the tree doesn't die. The fire only reaches so high. And what it does is <laughs> is the heat forces Jenny open. has a link for sweet and sour cow vagina. Oh, hey, what? <laughs> if they'll eat the tongue, they'll eat the other end. I don't know. I know how to spell it, but my device I always thought that I always thought that kind of thing went into bologna and sausage. That's okay, Anne. Even but, if you know how to spell it, my mouth probably can't pronounce it. Believe so. me, though, old bulls and old cows that go down and can no longer milk, they don't waste that shit. That goes off to processing plants, and it comes out. It, Dude, you know, it, seriously, they don't waste anything. Do you remember Swift's? Hummingbird found me a ZR2 going to. Do you remember Swift's yes, motto? Sunday. We package everything but the squeal. Guess what? It's all white. All I have to do is get my black stripes on it. <laughs> <laughs> the money we're saving cool. on meat, too, you know? If it right. weren't for hunting, I can't imagine what it would cost just to feed our family buying the cardboard tasting meat at the store. Dude, the other day when I went to get those organic lemons, yeah, they had hamburger on sale mm -hmm. they wanted for five pounds of shit burger mm -hmm. they wanted nineteen dollars and seventy six cents and it's seventy five percent which means right yeah twenty five percent fat and right. that was on sale mm -hmm. it was ridiculous so i'm telling you man and it doesn't even taste great you know meat used to taste like meat when when we were cutting up that last deer, dude, and you you cut into that leg, you know that haunch. Yep. 
the smell that came out was like fresh. It was like you were cutting to, into a, a, a fresh uh, uh, Angus roast. Like, I mean, that's how meat is supposed to look and smell. Like you want to eat it. You know what I mean? Right. Not like, you know, the fucking tough cardboard pork chops you get at the store or, you know. And says. The chicken breasts that are fucking way oversized. I'm not even going to attempt that. What? Wichitty Grubs from Aboriginal Wichitty Grubs. I am Australian. I can't. With Judy Grubs. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't speak Aborigines, but <clears throat> a grub is a grub. It's a worm. It's a member of the worm family, I believe. With Judy Grubs. Okay. It doesn't really matter. I spent yeah. enough time on the grubs. I'm going to take her word for it. She's Australian. So. But they are, it, you know, it Lincoln doesn't matter says what about country. 150 bucks a week for one roommate. Holy crap. Yeah, exactly. The it's, video of the cow vagina, Vietnamese food, made me a little sick to my stomach. Well, you know, I mean, who are we? It, 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 when it comes right Dave down says, to see, us. I spelled it wrong. When it comes right down to it, you know, who are we to belittle other cultures for the parts of animals they eat? You know what I mean? Grubs are Look tasty. what we eat. Well, I know one thing that I wouldn't want to eat. What's that? When they take those bullfrogs and they grind them up in the blender. That's a fertility drink. I know, I'm just saying. I and apparently it works. I just wouldn't want it. Well, that. no thanks. I don't want, you know. I would rather cook it on and then eat it that way. On a stick. Well, yeah, frog legs are good. Bullfrog legs are delicious. And it says Australia does I don't not really have its own them, but... cuisine, though we do have our own dishes. Pie floaters are yummy. I have no idea what that is. I don't, I have no idea either. Iguanas are good to eat. Rattlesnake's pretty good, too. I pronounced it correctly? Awesome. Australia has a lot of highly venomous, highly venomous snakes. So. I don't know. I don't know much about Australia. I have, well, I don't know that much, but I've seen a lot of documentaries. And I from know, what I understand, they have a lot of snakes down there. I know DAS 241 is from there. I know that uh, Perth is from there. I know that Wobbly Boost is from there. There's a lot of desert area. There's a lot of really beautiful areas. I mean, Australia and New Zealand are beautiful yep, areas. Yeah, in a blender. Yeah, no thanks. I'll hey, my Will. Will. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I would rather just eat the legs, you know? Yeah. That's where the meat is. We used to go frog gigging all the time. Yeah, we did too. We still had... I don't know where they went. I don't. I don't know if Drew has them or who has them. But we had we had gig, you know. The, yeah, we had the a tools. lot of gig poles. Yeah, we did. Nucky wants another iguana as a pet. I love lizards. Don't take that wrong. <laughs> okay, we won't. <laughs> sure, we won't, zebra. Gather around, children. Those I'm going to tell you the story of how you were convinced with ground-up bullfrog. You were conceived with ground-up bullfrogs. No, apparently in South America, it's a, it's like a, it's a holistic a thing. So it's I a holistic thing, cigarettes. where it's not just ground-up frog. There are a lot of herbs and and other things that go into it, but um, they make it like into a shake in a blender, and. Uh, Supposedly, if you've been trying to have children and you have not, um, well, in other countries, you notice it's like a, a mixture of different religions. It's like a mixture of um, Christianity and the native religions. So um, a lot of their beliefs, you know, kind of intersect there and they kind of mix them together. And I was watching this documentary where, yeah, that's exactly what they did. They used all these different herbs and essential oils and all this shit and threw it in a blender with some different kinds of fruits and stuff, threw the frogs in there, and there's specific kinds of frogs. It's not just a bullfrog. And they put the cap on and ground it all up and put it in a glass, and this chick drank it, and she came back a few months later, and she was pregnant. So, 
and and that's not been the only one. So apparently, you know. There's something in that magic hat they found. Yeah, the inland taipan is, I believe, one of the snakes they have there. I can't even pronounce that. Cane toads are psychedelic. Yeah, I'll pass on those, I'll too. I'll take one of them. Is that like the bufo frog, that giant thing where you lick its back or its head and, yeah, you trip balls? <laughs> I'll take them. I kind of rather go the mushroom way, <laughs> but... I'll take the you know, frog. Sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> I'll try it. But, yeah, there's just a lot of things, you know, from other countries that we don't necessarily... Yeah, oh, hey, you know, I'm not... Even here in Illinois, where we don't really have that many bad things, we still have a few. You know, right here, we have two venomous spiders. We have the brown recluse and the hobo spider. Um, we have water moccasins, which are venomous snakes. Um, what else do we have that's dangerous? Um, we have mountain lions. They're few and far between because they've all been, you know, but made extinct. Um, we have koi dogs, which are very dangerous because they're actually, you know, uh, part domesticated. So they've lost that fear of human and they will stalk you and take you down if you're alone. Um... We have coyotes, but, you know, every ecosystem needs its various members in order to work properly. So you just be careful, you know. And then we've got, well, hybrids that have migrated. Yeah, I'm not real big on spiders either, but there is a way to take care of them. Like, Road here got bit by a brown recluse right on his lip. They were moving a couch. Brown recluses love to hide in woodwork. That's where they hide. Um, and I did a lot of reading about them, and it says it doesn't matter how great your house is kept, how wonderfully clean and spotless it is. At any given time, there are about 50,000 of those motherfuckers living in your house. You just never see them because they are night stalkers. They come out at night, hunt, and they go away. So you don't see them during the day. Most bites happen on accident. They do not attack you. Um, you roll over on one accidentally in your sleep or something, and it bites out of fear. And basically, when you see people with, like, skin missing or flesh missing, it's because they didn't take care of it right away. We didn't even go to the ER. He got bit. We saw the spider. We knew what it was. The first thing we did was start slapping hot lips and tea bags on him as hot as we could stand it. He is a natural drawing agent. It drew the venom out. And we followed that up with a course of antibiotics because spiders are known to have a lot of pretty nasty bacteria in their mouths. And to this day, he doesn't even have a scar. And that's simply because we jumped on it right away and took care of it. You know, and then, you know, you have to also, you know, take what you see on the Internet with a grain of salt. So... Oh, yeah. You should have seen the picture I saw the other day, Blinken. Jamie put up a picture of him and I think it was his brother. It was a brother or a friend. And they have four dead on their tailgate. And that was like just a couple nights ago. So they're taking, we, we are overpopulated with coyotes. There is no question. But I'm glad the, the I'm glad they, that you can hear them because <laughs> that just shows you, you know, how many are here. Yep, black salve too. Black salve, um, if it's the same black, no, I'm, I have no idea, but I, I, I've talked about this before, but there's something you can get on the dark web, and it's called black salve. And I literally saw the pictures myself of a friend of ours whose wife had skin cancer on her nose. And she ordered the black salve, got it, uh, followed the YouTube video that told her what to expect, how to use it, blah, blah, blah. And within within 10 days, this little plug fell out. And within 
the full two weeks, you couldn't even tell that she had skin cancer, and it was pretty deep. Yeah, it actually cured her cancer a lot with my own eyes. I couldn't believe it. I was just in, in awe. But, yeah, there, there's just a lot of things that they don't want us to know about because they can't patent it and make money off it, number one. And number two, you know, it would ruin their whole thing of just... Uh, take this pill, then take this pill, then take that pill. Yeah, they, our, med, our conventional medicine is not set up to cure us. It's set up to treat us, you know? Well, you got to be smart enough to figure out which, you know, which information is false and which is correct, you know? It's, you, you know, you have to be able to use the power of critical thought and common sense, you know? Right. You're not very bright if someone tells you bleach kills everything, drink a cup of it. You yeah, know? you know, how smart are you if you're eating Tide Pods or, you know, drinking bleach? You're not real smart. You know, just because somebody tells you something, that's something else. When you actually see it work, that's a whole different ball game. You know, I mean, there's got to be more than one person that says it, you know. But do I trust our government? Do I trust pharmaceutical corporations? Do I trust our FDA? And isn't it kind of odd that food and drug administrations are packed together? I think so. Isn't it kind of odd that the USDA will not sanction uh, a lot of supplements and shit because they say they don't work, even though we know they do? So, you know, yeah, drink your beans, bitch. <laughs> but yeah it's just you know hello yeah it's just I, I don't know you know it's just I have lupus and I try to stay away from conventional medicine they want me to take way too many things that do absolutely nothing but make me feel more sick so <clears throat> we got rid of all that all the anti-inflammatories all you of the medicines, the yeah, all the steroids, all the medicines that weren't doing a bit of good, and we went with a holistic uh, regimen, and that holistic regimen has kept me healthy. So, and I know that it works because I've used it myself, you know, it's a specific <laughs> mixture. So, you know. I mean, come on, we already know that, you know, everybody's bent. Our politicians are bent. Our police are bent. Our justice system doesn't work the way it should. Prisons are privately owned. What does that tell you? Everything's about revenue. You know, it's just, we're a mess. As a country, we are a fucking mess. Why would medicine be any different, you know? So... Oh, you know what somebody just told me the other day? And I almost shit my dress. Awesome, just playing nothing, I gotta tell you. Because you know what? You see all the energy I got? I've been taking it. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Right? No, two months ago they had a kid. Yeah. And it cost them almost fucking $250,000 to have a fucking baby in the hospital. Yeah. Holy shit balls. Yeah. yeah. You can hire a midwife for a lot less. Holy shit, Paul. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I well, I, I know what works for me, and I know what's bullshit, you know? I already know that taking steroids daily is not a good thing, you know? Steroids, depending upon what kind they are, you know, there's a cycle that you take. And you have to know how to cycle on, cycle off, and how much, you know, you got to do the math. You got to do the work involved. Of course, those are different steroids. But, like, prednisone, prednisone, taking, I'm supposed to take that every day for the rest of my life? No, you know, and then everything else that they give you, nothing, nothing is manufactured specifically for lupus. I believe right now at this particular time, there is one medication out there 
that has been specifically designed for lupus. And I don't know what it is because I haven't really given a shit because I don't use them. But that's how much funding they're putting into that. So, you know, you really got to, you know, look at other options because I know that there are other options out there. You know, conventional medicine is not the only way to go. What did people do before Big Pharma and everything else, you know? You know, and, and, and part of the problem, as I see it, is a lot of that knowledge is being lost. People are just blindly trusting that doctors all know what they're talking about. True. So, I mean, that's all up to you. It's just my opinion, you know, but, yeah, I, I, I know what works for me, and I know that I feel better. You know, it's just like a car, you know. If if you fuel it properly and you do maintenance on it, it runs great. If you use shitty fuel and you don't do any maintenance, it's going to fall apart. So the human body is no different. Fuel it properly with good food and take care of it. You know? <laughs> but anyway, anyone please play my playlist on loop? I need help with my... Okay, no pro I'm sure Road is more than willing to help you out, and I got a laptop, so we'll see what we can do for you. No problem. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of shit going by here, but, you know. Well, and that's the thing, you know, King Nine, you got to know, you know, you can't just, I mean, <laughs> okay, here's a great example, okay, and I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Um, Cyborg, Chris Cyborg. Take a peek at her early photos and interviews when she was first getting into the sport, okay? She was female. Take a look at her now. Big difference. Big difference. And that's because she overdid it. She didn't cycle on or off properly. And we know, we know, you know, Brazil doesn't exactly have the same standards that we have with, you know, USADA and all that. But, you know... Yeah, I mean, you've got to really read your shit and know your stuff. You've got to do the math and and know a little bit about it. You've got to, you know, you got to figure it out. It's just like buying pet food. It's the same thing. You've got to read that label and know exactly what you're looking at and know exactly what percentages of what. You have to know something about what that animal needs nutrition-wise, you know. Dogs are not fucking herbivores and they don't need that much grain you know they like a little salad every now and then that's why i let my dog eat weeds in the front yard Come but on, look at how many times you gotta go you know, take dogs out of fucking cornfields because they're eating the ears of corn happens every day never they eat all the soybeans dogs too. do not eat corn the only dog i've ever seen corn is our guard dog and she eats it because she eats the same thing the goats eat because she wants to smell the same way the goats yeah, smell I know. She wants to blend in with her herd. But that's an instinct thing, you know? That's her breed. She's doing her job. Yeah, she's a weirdo. But, you know. She's a weirdo. Yeah, and probably one of my most, the worst habit I ever picked up. And if you're listening and you don't smoke cigarettes, please, please do not start. It is the worst habit to break. It's bad for you. It is horrible. It will kill you. It depends what you're smoking, though. Cannabis, I'm all for cannabis. Cannabis is not only a medicine, it's also recreational. But look at that, you know? They tried to synthesize it. That shit didn't work. Yeah, isn't it a shame that stories like that come up all the time? There are some evil humans out there. It's a sad thing to say, but it's too bad we don't call.
<laughs> you know? Why would you kill your children? I just, I hate reading stories like that. They're just way too sad. I know. I know. Awful isn't even the right word. It's just, it's, it's heinous. Maybe heinous is the right word. I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, you know, and people blindly follow our, you know, our governmental agencies and you see how little they do for us. And it just, you know, I think a lot of, a lot of things could be avoided if people could just get the help they needed, you know, whether financial or mental or, you know, health wise or whatever. You know, but we've been programmed, you know, we've been, we've been programmed to suspect each other, to be divided, you know, it's just, did I ever hear of the Randonautica app? We used it last week, it was weird, but fun, no. I don't have a phone, so, I have a phone, I use it for video and pictures, I do not have it attached to a number, so. I don't have any app, any applications, but uh, I don't know. I got to tell you, I'm pretty disgusted at the world right now. You know, I mean, I don't wear a mask and I get called a conspiracy theorist. And yet, those same people that are calling me that, you know, we're calling James Hansen a conspiracy theorist. And now they're all walking around going, oh, yeah, global warming. You know, we know all about it. Well, at one point in time, he was silenced. So, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, today's... Today's conspiracy is tomorrow's truth. It just takes a lot of people that much longer to catch up with it, you know? Oh, excellent. That sounds really good. We just made some elderberry cough medicine yesterday, and then I've got my little yellow jar of, of stuff in the fridge. Well, we'll see you later. Take care of yourself. Yeah, we do as, as much as we possibly can holistically. We just, I'm not buying into, I'm not buying into what modern medicine is trying to sell. Especially not with all I've witnessed been through myself and yeah we've got a pretty good vet kit going so there's not much else we need I can take care of most things myself here I don't I don't need to go in anywhere why should I pay an ER you know hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars to put a few staples in when I can do that very same thing right here You know? Or a three hundred dollar emergency visit for a shot of vitamin K. Well, we gave the cat a shot last well, night. That's what I'm saying. That's a three hundred dollar emergency visit. Yeah, my cat was acting K. all weird and had the shits and stuff and I was afraid it might have eaten a mouse that gotten into poison. The best thing for that is vitamin K because you want to, you know, coagulate the blood. You want to make sure it's not leaking through, you know, the poison's not taking over. So, yeah, we just handled that ourselves. You want to talk about difficult? Try holding down a cat that does not want to get a shot. <laughs> That's the hard part. <laughs> but she's feeling fine today, so. It was good to talk to you all for a little while here. I'm gonna, my legs are bothering me, so.
my legs are bothering me, so y'all have a good one. I'll hand it over to Wood here. There you go, my darling. I gotta sit and have a little hot coffee. All right, I'll take it for a little bit, but I'm sure well, people are bored as hell, so. You're not, you're not being forced. I just need to sit for a bit. Take care, Ann, Ow. if I didn't miss you. Yeah, my knees are killed. This weather is not having a real good effect on my bones. It's not helping any. Jen says, I will put my shoulder back in place myself rather than pay the hospital thousand. Oh, exactly, yeah. Jenny. I'm with you. You're talking to my chiropractor right now. When I worked at a tree farm, they raised reindeer. I gave them their shots. Talk about fun. Everyone said good night, Hag. What? Everyone said good night. Yeah, I had a whole yard full of dogs at one time, zebra, that I had to uh, inoculate, so I can relate to it. That, along with the other livestock we've kept throughout the years. Pigs are real fun to give shots to, too. And sheep. Sheep really suck. All right, here, dude, you gotta, here, take this, unless you already have one. Oh, I don't. All right, I gotta go down and take care of her dogs yet. All right. I forgot about that shit. Fuck me. I hear her sneezing or doing something down there, and I'm not sure what it is. Me either. All right, I think I've bored you people enough for one day. I'm sure you have uh, better places to be. Do I know, do you know if I would pass Cambridge on the way to my house? I don't even know what Cambridge is or where it is for that matter. Zebra, so I couldn't tell you. I don't even know what state it's in. If it's in Massachusetts, I don't think you would. I don't remember what states I went through. I think I went through Ohio. I think Indiana, Ohio, I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've been to Beth. I used to go to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania a lot. But it's been a long time. Like over 25 years for me since I've been there. So, you probably have to Google it. Cambridge, Illinois, 20 miles from Moline. I'm not even sure where that is, blind. Um, how far is that from Monticello? I'm not really familiar with this area that I live in, honestly. Now, if you ask me about Crystal Lake, Woodstock, stuff like that, can't find that story on that woman that killed her kids. When I lived in Crystal Lake, when I was growing up, I don't know, I was probably like between the ages of 8 and 12, I want to say. There was a lady who lived uh, on Pingree Road, that was the name of it, Pingree Road, who put her uh, son in the oven and was going to cook him for Thanksgiving dinner, but her husband got home in time because he knew they didn't have a turkey. That's the strangest thing I know. You're three hours from Champagne. All right. 
if you're three hours from Champagne, is it is it like three hours towards Chicago or three hours the other way? Yeah, it was pretty strange knocking. She tried to uh, she tried to cook her own kid for Thanksgiving, but the husband made it home in time. But she wasn't quite right in the mind, so. You don't understand why it isn't there. It was there for years. There's a lot of stuff that's no longer on the internet that used to be blind. I'm not surprised by it. There's a lot of information that's been gone. You're south of the Quad Cities. Okay, I'm not even sure where that is. Dude, I suck at directions. If I can go in the woods and come out of the woods, no problem at all. I can come back out wherever you put me in. But you put me in a car and let me drive around, I'll get lost after the first two turns. I think that's it, Julia Markham. Yeah, I don't know. Had a guy down the street here who couldn't get his son to quit crying, so he boiled him. He barely looked. He survived, though, barely. Holy shit. That's crazy, Zebra. Cambridge is northwest of Peoria. Davenport, Rock Island, Moline, Bettendorf. Quad Cities. Okay, Bettendorf's in Iowa. I got that one. That's where uh, Pat Militich was from. 70 miles from Peoria. All right, got you now. Now I know where you're at. I'm horrible when it comes to geography. I mean, really horrible. <laughs> I know that we, uh, <clears throat> the Illinois borders Kentucky because we broke down in a van once going to a dog show there, and that's the only reason I know that. I went to a trapper's convention in 76 in Iowa. Cambridge, Illinois, MapQuest. There you go, Jenny. Yes. The complaint department is open. What now? Here's the thing. Her cough is breaking up now. Yeah. And she's really coughing a lot. Okay. I just gave her cough medicine. Okay. And the other medicine. Okay. So it's going to cough up and start coming out nasty. She said this is the worst phlegm she's ever had. Oh, I'm sure. But her problem is, is that when she lays down, uh -huh. she lays on her fucking back. That's why. I know. I keep telling her she needs to turn and lay on her side. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But trying to get her to do something is like fucking pulling teeth. It's worse than pulling it's teeth. It's worse than pulling teeth. I know. It's like dealing with a fucking unruly child. No, unruly children are easier. Well, i tell you what, dude. If I... And well, I, and, uh, they were easier to handle. Tell me about it. Yeah, Amish. We uh we caught another one in the garage in live trap, and uh, we got both glands. We got we were able to turn it with the camera though. I did kind of a crappy job. I really got to get some type of holder that works better than what I'm using because. 
my filming just sucks. I mean, I keep thinking the camera sees what my eyes see, and then I realize that, you know, instead of looking at a bunch of essence coming out into a jar, it's looking at a pair of, you know, of old beat-up farm sweatpants or some grass or something that it's not even, you know, doesn't pertain to what I'm doing at all. You know, and then I end up putting my hand over the camera lens and it's just bad. Quick check. There are at least 12 states with a city town named Cambridge. So at just plain knock and fuck free spirits, it really depends on what route you take. Awesome, Chris Marcus. Jenny says, I always have to sleep in a lazy boy when my cough is really bad. I hear you, Jenny. Or extra pillows to at least bring you up higher. But it's hard to help those who know everything. Interstate 80 comes 10 miles from Cambridge. Sweet. I mean, my dumbass learned today that Cleveland Browns was a football team. I had, had no idea. So, it's always a good day when I can learn something new. Yeah, most states probably do have a Crystal Lake. The one I grew up in was in Illinois. And back then, Route 14 was a gravel road. Now it's a major thoroughfare, giant highway. The old drive-in theater is gone. I mean, it's undergone crazy changes down the road from where I grew up was supposed to turn into like uh, a recreational park and that by the time I was like 15 years old and it didn't turn into one until like 2012 or something like that and now they charge you money to go in and fish and you can't keep the fish you have to return them I mean it's crazy and that place was always loaded with largemouth bass and perch and all kinds of stuff. And then some idiots went and put a bunch of carp in there. So it got invaded by carp and catfish. So. And then the places that I used to hunt and trap, they're no longer there. They're all built up. They've been in, absorbed into buildings. Mine was in the mountains east of Los Angeles at the top of California Highway 39. Sweet. Nuckin says she'll be right back because she's at eBay going crazy looking at things to go shopping for. Man, I'd love to shave this hair all the way off, but for some reason, Hag is like into the bozo hairstyle. It 
grows so damn slow. There's still so much of it that won't go into the ponytail. It sucks. So I have to deal with the fly away all the time. I should probably just get some aqua rock and start spraying the shit. Take some Vaseline and Vaseline it down. Or goose grease. Grease it down. Like they used to do when you were sick before Vicks was a household product. You just use goose grease. They put goose, goose grease on you and a bunch of hot towels. To get rid of the congestion. Oh, how times have changed. I haven't seen a real butcher shop in 20 years. You haven't needed a haircut since 2007? Damn, Chris, I can't tell you the last time I got a haircut. I'd say it's probably... Well, the last haircut I had was, I think, before me and Hag got married when I shaved everything off except for a ponytail in the back. I did like a little Fu Manchu ponytail in the back of my head, and the rest of it I bicked. And everything grew back except it's still not anywhere near as long as it was when I bicked it. My beard grows fine, but that's about it. It grows and it's unruly. I hear you. I wish I could get like some of my pubic beard hair to grow up here, man. It, that would be that would be cool. I could deal with that. A little bearded fro on the head. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna kill this thing and let you go on your merry way. I think I've created enough boredom for one day. So. I'm sure there's a bunch of drama panels going on and a bunch of craziness all over the place. So I'll let you go and find your liking, find your craziness or whatever may be happening at the time. I've been seeing a bunch of notices flip across the top that I haven't paid any attention to. When I was a kid, my mom would smear us Vicks Vapor Rub on our chest and, right, and take us steaming hot shower. It would help temporarily with congestion. Yep, Jenny did the same thing. We used, After the goose grease, we went to mentholatum, and then after the yeah. mentholatum, we went to Vicks. What? Half her problem yeah. is that she's not hydrating enough to get the mucus to come up. Okay. How do you make somebody drink? I don't know. Give them Coke. That's She's got co four Cokes in the refrigerator. Well, then I don't know. <laughs> then I don't know. I don't know what else to give her. All right, everyone. Take care. Have a yeah. good, exciting night. Not an idea. And uh, I'm going to go tend to the... There you go. I'm this going might to, help her. I'm going to take and attend to the craziness and see if I can get any crazier than I already am. So, uh, maybe you'll find out if I've gone crazier. 
on the next stream or not. Only time will tell. All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks for dropping that. Bye. Peace. I'm out.